few things you're disappointed with tonight? Lots of you know, I mean, disappointed is a, a strong word. I'm not disappointed. You, you're going to go undefeated in the season. Like I said, I'd rather learn the lessons we learned tonight tonight, than, than the last game of the season when it cost us our season. So, uh, you know, anytime it's a loss, you're going to get losses. you got to learn from you got to improve. Uh, obviously, we don't want to lose at home, and I thought we made, uh, you know, we gave them way too many good opportunities. We didn't play our best game, and that's disappointing. But at the same time, you know, we were there right at the end. You know, we had a lead going in the fourth quarter, so... We have no one to blame but ourselves, and, and that's all correctable. So that, that's a good thing. It wasn't like they just went out there and dominated us. Seems the defense started off the game really strong, then struggled in the second quarter, really strong again in the third, and then sort of fell apart in the fourth. What was what was different? I, don't, I wouldn't say I wouldn't say fall apart. I would say that they scored on some good opportunities. Uh, you know, uh, we had slides coming at him, and the shots that uh, Mikey was eating up in the first half, he didn't he didn't eat up in the fourth quarter. Now they were they were good opportunities. I don't expect Mikey to make every save, but uh, you know, I wouldn't say we fell apart. It wasn't like they were getting breakaways or anything like that. I mean, they, they made some good plays, and we were slow on our rotations, and they banged their shots. So. Hey, you know, when you play against a good team, this is the Philly team I thought we'd see. This is the Philly team I thought they'd have. So it's no big size, uh, surprise to me that they're that they're a pretty, pretty good team. So, you know. They just hung around there for a long time. Do you expect to pull away at all there? Or yeah, when, I mean, you when, when we had two five-minute power plays there, I, we didn't take advantage of that. We had our chances. You know, we, we, we should have been up by three or four goals in, in the first half and it might have been a different game, might not have been a different game, but we, we will never know because we didn't capitalize on our opportunities, you know. So, hey, you know, like I said, every, everything that happened tonight is on us. It wasn't anything that they did. It was, it was more on us. Bad decisions we made in the second quarter and we, we turned them into track day. You know, bad decisions in the fourth quarter. Guys got a little, I got to score this goal instead of we have to score this goal. And it's all correctable. So I, I'm not I'm not really too worried about it. But at the same time, you know, you never want to lose a game at home. The rest of the terrace looked a little shaky there in his first game. It's been a long time. He was uh, hurt at the end of last year. He hasn't played in a long time. That's a fast team, big team. So... Yeah, he did. Uh, he did have a, a rough night in terms of you know getting his opportunities and stuff like that. But uh, I still believe in Frank, and he's going to get his opportunities throughout the year. Good to have the quick turnaround. The game tomorrow night. Uh, yeah, you know, anytime you lose, you want to get back on the floor. The boys will be hungry, and uh, you know Minnesota is going to be another test. They're a big athletic team, and uh, pretty much the same team we face tonight. If we let them uh, uh, play to the, their strengths, like we did, like we let Philly tonight, then uh, we could be in trouble again. Tommy looked like a strong showing in his first game of the year. Yeah, I thought Tom did all right. I thought he was a little bit slow in the in, in the slides, uh, a little bit late. Um, but you know, again, he he hasn't played yet this year, so uh, you know that's to be expected. We, you know, it wasn't just one guy, but uh, uh, yeah, I think uh, it was just one guy making a mistake over and over, you know one guy on each line making a mistake, and that really hurt us. What kind of lineup changes should we expect tomorrow? Sorry, what's that? What kind of lineup changes should we expect? Uh, we're not really sure. We're gonna go talk about it, and uh, as soon as we find out, we'll let you know. A few times saw uh, Chad and uh, Luke back on defense. Is that them getting caught with the new rules, or do they have the option to slide back there and uh, play some defense? Yeah, I mean, it, it's not the new rules. It's the way it was always. The offensive guys get caught every year. Offensive guys get caught every game. Um, it has nothing to do with new rules. That's, uh, you know, we make a bad pass, and the guy's got a cover to get back. You can't just turn and run to the bench and give up a breakaway. So uh, it's not really the new rules. It's more on us, bad decisions, bad passes that create transitions, bad shots that we miss in that with, and it creates a transition. Um, so, you know, like I said, everything's correctable and everything's on us.